Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a big Twitter password dump. The big news today is yet another big password leak of a well-known social network, Twitter. This story comes from information from a site called Leak Source, which goes on the underground and looks for a big database leaks where somebody is selling a big database. And most recently, they found attackers selling a Twitter database that had over 32 million records in it. Now, these records contain things like your Twitter username and email address and your clear text password. In fact, this likely did not happen because of any sort of Twitter network hack. In many cases, password leaks are because some bad guy directly gets the database of the site that has all these passwords. But in those cases, the passwords most likely are going to be hashed and protected in some way. In this case, the 32 million records has clear text passwords. In some cases, even very long, complex passwords that would have been near impossible to crack. So the current theory is that Twitter was not hacked. Rather, bad guys were somehow able to keylog passwords from many users. So this suggests that some bad guy has hacked millions of users and is actually logging all their Twitter credentials, which would be a big deal in itself. Now, of this list, it seems to mostly affect Russian Twitter users. There are a number of addresses there. Some are government addresses, but there seems to be a big majority in Russia. So this could be malware that's spreading very well in Russia. So you probably want to know what to do about this if you're a Twitter user. Well, the good news is since this isn't a full Twitter database leak, not all users are affected. So I don't recommend you immediately go change your password. This will probably only affect you if you're someone that has had malware on your computer and maybe has had your password key logged. Now, the good news is the organization that reported some of this leak source actually has a great site where you can put in your email address to see if your email address was associated with any particular leaks, including this Twitter leak. So if your email does not show up for this Twitter leak, you're probably relatively safe. That said, if you want to be safe rather than sorry, it may not be a bad idea to change your Twitter password. More importantly, make sure it's not the same password you use everywhere else. But one of the things I highly recommend whether or not you change your password is to use Twitter's two-factor authentication. I have two-factor authentication enabled myself. That way, even if a bad guy gets my password, he's not going to be able to log on as me unless he also gets my cell phone. Anyways, that's today's story. Thank you for watching.